Okay, so I'm in the middle of a working on a collage and I realize there's a certain kind of paper that I need. I pull out the gel plate and some floss and take a look at what happened. I've been wanting to try this. This is a um, dental floss. I'm going to try the Payne's Gray just because the experiment is not for color so much as for what kind of pattern we're going to get. I'm more interested in seeing what the what the floss is actually going to do. I'm looking for subtle colors. Simpler. We're probably just going to do two layers today. So I'm going to just lay this down very randomly and then pick up with the deli paper, of course. Maybe I should have picked this up with some different kind of paper. Anyway, we're going to, this is going to be total experiment day. Okay, I like that a lot. Wow, look at that intersection right there. But I'm unhappy with the, I might crinkle the paper or something. So let's, let's lift this. And yeah, we have a very delicate, nice pattern. Very delicate. I like that. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I might just pick that up with some Titan Buff. Okay, it's pretty much dry. I thought this was going to be similar to the twine and that kind of stuff. And in some ways it is, but it's much more delicate. Much more delicate. And that, uh, that in itself gives it a completely different feel. And it can be, you know, a good, a good thing to have in a collage stash. Now, usually with twine, rubber bands, that kind of stuff, I'm happier with this version than with, you know, the what's left on the plate. So I'm going to see if I can improve on this in some way on the next pull. This one's just going to be a quick one. Unless I get a little carried away. <laughs> oh, look how beautiful that is. Very, very nice. Very simple. My plate is starting to get a little gunked up here with paint, but that's okay. So I'm going to mix a little bit of this. But not totally mixed, as you can see. Randomly lay this down again. Let it let it decide to do its own thing. Okay, now what I'm thinking of doing is crumpling up my rice paper a little bit. I'm gonna wrinkle it a bit. I don't know if this is gonna be good or bad. The last time we picked up with the deli paper. This time I want to pick up the rice paper because I'm thinking that collage that I'm in currently, this might be a nice paper to use in one of the sections. Perfect. Okay. How pretty is that? Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Okay, I'm just going to pick this up with Titan Buff again.
So I'm curious to see what's going to happen where the the line that was left on the plate was sort of a blend of these two colors and I'm, I'm curious to see what it looks like. Let's, let's see. Very nice. A little bit more like barbed wire, I don't know. It's kind of scary looking. This one is more sophisticated, I think. It's more, I don't know, it's just nicer. Probably because I didn't leave it to dry long enough. It some of the <clears throat> some of the paint mixed with the Titan buff. Normally I would like that. And if we're just using a piece of it, maybe it won't have such so much like barbed wire. <laughs> to me, it looks like barbed wire. <laughs> Let's see, I want to do another one like the last one with the these two colors because I have a feeling I'm going to use it in my new collage that I'm going to be working on tomorrow. I'm trying to just go in one direction. This one has a lot of scabs, so hopefully it's going to be okay. And there, we're going to lay this down. Get another piece of rice paper and crumple it. Now this is the this is the smooth side. Well, you can't tell there's scabs. That's nice. I think this one might be better. This one got a little busy. Maybe I crumpled it a little too much. I'm going to try one more. I just want to make sure I have enough for tomorrow. So I might as well pick this up. I'm going to let it smear again. That way I have two alike, in case I need it for the collage. So even though I have tons of papers that are already from previous projects, a lot of times I end up pulling prints specifically for a collage I have in my head and I have no papers that will I don't I don't want it to just be a hodgepodge I want it to have a cohesive look and I can't always do that with just random papers I have in the drawer so like if, when I did the flamingo I really planned it out when I did the toucan I planned so this is another planned collage All right, now we're going to go back to just one more of these. I'm going to crumple the paper, but I'm going to be a little less... I'm not going to crumple it quite as much as I did the second time. 
so I'm not even sure it really needed it. Oh, well, I did like the, the wrinkles that I was getting. Is much more like the first one. This one had a lot more wrinkles in it. So this is this is perfect. I have two very similar ones. So maybe I might be able to let me try to pick this up with jelly paper. Let me try to very lightly go over this. Oops. Let's see if that'll work. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That'll be a nice addition to a collage with like transparency. And my plate, it has left my plate a real mess, but that's okay. I'll clean it up. Thanks for stopping by for this very, very quick experimental um, that ended up with some nice papers that I can use for collage probably tomorrow. Don't forget to create, inspire, and share. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.